So today we're going to show you how you can use shared Arduino library projects in Visual Micro to simplify your libraries. So we have the normal sketchbook libraries folder shown here on the left and we've also shown in the past how you can use the clone options in Visual Micro to copy them into your project or solution and the video for that's linked in the top right. But today we're going to show you how you can share one copy of a library project into multiple Arduino projects with only one copy of the library source. So it makes it easier to update and maintain in the future. So we've got a copy of the one of the examples from the Software Zero library here opened as an Arduino project and we could use the clone for solution or project as mentioned but it would mean that we'd have to update this project and all of our other projects if we wanted to update that particular library for a, a subset of projects. So we've created a new folder called ESP libraries and this is where we're going to store all of our libraries for our set of ESP projects and we've downloaded the ESP software serial library from github. This is it file. So we'll need to note our library folder so we can create our new shared project. So if we right click the solution then go add a new project we can then select the Arduino library project template from Visual Micro and then press next and we're going to give it the same name as it would be so software serial in this case so that all the folder structures and names match and then we're going to go and change the location to be our new ESP libraries folder which is outside of all of our Arduino sketchbook libraries and so on if we're writing a new library we could check the notes in the readme and begin to write and add our source files but in this case we're going to go and copy in all of the code that we've downloaded from github so if we open the folder that it's created our new software serial library and then go into the zip and copy all of the files we can then put them across and this will overwrite the library properties and in this example it also overwrote the software serial cpp and h files in the source directory but we can see in the solution explorer that we've only got these two files so we'll need to go and add in the rest of the files from the library so we can just right click the shared project and go add existing item and navigate to any of the extra files which are missing and just highlight them and press add and you can repeat this operation multiple times as needed and there we go so our Arduino project still doesn't know where this shared project is and to link those two together we'll need to go and add a reference to our Arduino project and go to shared projects and tick the software serial option so now we can see we've got our reference so we'll be able to build and upload this and this will use the specific software serial library that we've specified here so as you can see in the output we'll just go back to it it has used our new ESP libraries software serial library so we can now share this library into multiple projects don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video and do please check out the other videos on our channel. Now you may also need to add your shared project to other projects so in this case you would just go add existing project and then navigate to where you've got your shared library project. So we're going to use our software serial example again and just select the VCX items file. This will add the project into the solution. It doesn't copy it into the solution, it just adds the references. Then we can go to our Arduino project and add the reference so it knows how to find it. 
So we've now got one copy of our software serial library which we can bring into multiple projects and control very specifically which version we are using as well as make it very simple to update.